before we, we get our first questions, um, I remember um, that you practice kata uh, for developers. <laughs> what's what's your kata these days? Like, what's the score? Uh, I know this is very important for you, and perhaps you can share a bit of a parallel between the, the martial arts and the, the developers' kata um, way of doing of, of practicing. Uh, well, for those of you who don't know what a martial art is or, or what a kata is, a kata is a, a ritualized combat. And, and you, you enact your half of the ritualized combat that someone else uh, would at some later time do with you, the complementary combat. You typically practice it alone. So you're just practicing your part of the combat alone. And the purpose of that is to train your muscles and your spinal cord and your, you know, subconscious on how to behave in certain circumstances. Now, is that effective for code as well? And the answer to that is yes. So what I, I often do is I will get out a problem that I have solved a thousand times before, and I will just walk through the solution. I am not engaging my brain in solving the problem. I know the solution. I am engaging my fingers and my spinal cord and my subconscious in recognizing the circumstances. My fingers move automatically. I know the hot keys for the certain refactorings, right? And they just happen while my mind is focused on more strategic areas. That's, that's a very powerful thing to be able to do. So um, generally I will do a kata once, once a day or once, once or twice a week or something like that. I'll pick a 10 or a 15 minute kata, and I'll just do it just because it trains my fingers and my spinal cord and my subconscious in very helpful ways. And then as I find myself actually coding, I see my fingers moving before my brain has really recognized why. It's very interesting. 